Lindsay and this is Memory Keeper Journals. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Well, all I know is that this was in my mind and I had to draw it. I don't know, it's Jersey City. I remember the kids were with me and we went to see the fireworks that night. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Maybe if I move the camera a little bit. Anyway, and I just had to draw it. That was in my mind. That's so weird because I don't know how to draw from my mind. But I did the best I could. I guess it must have been a really good memory because, well, I had to draw it. And I remember my kiddos. They were so little. <laughs> so cute. Anyway, I'm going to save that into my personal journal but I wanted to show you <laughs> because I know I've mentioned to you guys that I don't draw from my mind I usually just um see there's a whole mess in here I never draw from my mind at all like that I have to see something before I can draw it so but I just wanted to show you it's the water Definitely Jersey City in New York. My sister, and we used to live over there at one point when we moved back from here from Arizona in 99, I think it was. And we went back home and we stayed over there. And then we came back five years later. So, yeah. One fun fact. Anyway, I'll put that away. <laughs> so I have a few other things that I'm working on besides this one because um, this one was one that I was following Karen and we were supposed to do a flip-flop journal but a wide, a wide one. It's not completely done. I'm still working on it. But this is what I have so far. Isn't it cute? And it opens like this, and there's a pocket here. And this one is no pocket, it's just the lace decorated. There's a pocket here, and this one is a pocket also, but it's a fabric. I was gonna make it into a flip pop, but I didn't. And then this one is just to decorate here, and then the pages, and I'm not done. I have vintage papers in here different types of papers and vellum and it's looking really nice um, I'm still working on it I have to sew some pages because I kind of glued two together and then this is a pocket here and then this is the second signature hold on baby girl that's my dog and then here more pages of different kinds I have to decorate all of this and then there's a pocket here and this is a flip up I have to create something here maybe another pocket here but there is a pocket in here so I gotta do something so that it can be seen but it's a secret pocket and then you turn this is the back and this is in the back of the journal. There's another signature with a pocket. And of course, all the beautiful pages in here. And I'm using, who is that I'm using? Um, well, I'll remember in a minute, but this one has a pocket here, which I did not cover, but it's used out of those yellow envelopes. So I didn't get a chance to cover this this one and I think I'm gonna leave it like that but it looks like an envelope and then we head back to the front but yeah I am using who is it sample or I can't remember why I can't remember I don't know why I can't remember let me see if I can think of who it is hold on wow i can't remember oh chapter one chapter one it was chapter one that i got that from 
and then I believe some of these are from Blossom something Blossom something <laughs> and then what I have back here is from um, my porch prints but those are freebies and I'm using the freebies to decorate this journal and I already did fussy cut on those flowers which I already added here and here and I used Tiffany and Company which is tailor made and I was trying to create it kind of shabby but vintagey and tattered and I don't know I don't know how that's gonna be I'm using Amity Bloom's tapes of course to uh, put pages together so that's the back and I think it's coming out really cute I love this this is a vellum page with some blue flowers and I think this is from Ruby and Pearl so it's coming out really cute really 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 cute anyways that's where I'm at I'm not done with this one now I'm also working on this one. it's a beautiful purple love this fabric I got it from Gina and then the um, this is from oh I can't remember now I have no idea I cannot remember so once I use it and it's not in its you know appropriate thing that I got I don't know but I, I haven't um, sewn it in yet because I might add more paper to this but I did do the front and back it's already glued and covered this is pocket here and a pocket here and I already have some tags in here that I haven't finished I have to also decorate in this one and then some of the pages are already decorated. I started already. This is a belly band that has a stopper. A cute little envelope down here. And yeah, so I'm not done. I'm still working on it. This one has a flip up. And Yeah, I think it's coming out really cute. This one I did that. This is where I got those uh, paper um, laces. Some vintage papers. I have more papers to add. But I'm decorating a little bit here and there. As I go, depending on how I feel. And this one will probably be in my shop as well one of these days not sure when but this is one of them and then i have more papers that i took out that i haven't used yet but i did pull out a whole bunch of papers that i wanted to use but i don't think all of it is going to fit in this journal so i made another cover with this one but I have to work on it I still have to work on it and see what I want to decorate it with and then I have to sew around it and I'm gonna use the same um, digitals and because these digitals are from my friend Tanya at Let's Design Creative and I love 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 this digitals that is the color of my birthday month which is february so i just thought that would be really cute so i have to put it to size because of course the pages are a lot bigger than the journal but these are like travel journals so this is the one that i found that would be suitable for these journals 
Let's see, I'm working on it. And I have a few other that I I am working on that I can't show you because, oh no, I dropped it, dang it. Because if I show you, then it defeats the purpose, right? Because it's not gonna be fun. At least this one is gonna be a while. It's gonna be a little while longer to finish because I also need to work on this one that I haven't finished. I have to do the next one, which has to do with, I love the way this one came out. It came out so cute, huh? And it's got the roses here, like an impression of it. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. The next one is gonna be, I think it's light, yeah, light, then weather, I need to color it in so I know where I'm at, but yeah, that's what I have so far, I have one, two more to go here, and then we start in the back, so let's see what can we do for light, so I haven't thought of anything but you know what let me look in here what do I have in here I have stamps that maybe I could use that I haven't used in a while uh, I don't know do I want to use stamps and this is this is this is the process this is the way the process is what do I have that contains light did I even look for something that was like I thought I did but I don't no, I did it. Hmm. Ooh, candle lights. I have candle lights. Let's see what does this look like. I haven't used this in a long time. It's been years. Oh, look at this. It doesn't even have the the backing. But this one is um, light candle light. Oh, look at this. A tiny little candle light. This one is a tiny candlelight. Obviously, I haven't used that one. Mm, maybe we can use those. Let's see if I have any more. I have this one. Looks like I've used that one. Let's see. Those are paper clips. What is this one? Paper clip. A lantern. There's a lantern. Butterflies and another. Okay. Oh, that's the one that belongs to this one. Oh, it came off. Maybe I can glue it back together. Let's try that. I'm just gonna use my fabric tack and see if it works and glue it on back because I am going to need that backing at least oh no is this clogged oh it's a little hold on <laughs> can't get it out okay that might work now let's see there we go see because the other one doesn't have it i think i threw it away because it broke when i was pulling it out but that was a long time ago and I think I have it on a video but that would be better for me to be able to use it when I um, use it later hopefully it stays maybe I should put it on a paper clip or something let's use this one keep it on all right so I got some light here what's this this is when I had the, the subscription, but I don't have the subscriptions anymore, so you don't really need to have them. I have plenty of stuff that I can use, and I'm intending to use everything that I um, have instead. So I don't know what color I want to use, so I'm just gonna leave it there for now. I have the other ones too. 
me think. So when it comes to light, it could be candles. Oh, I didn't put these back. Or a lantern. I also was thinking of like a camera, but I thought I had taken it out. And I don't remember if I did. Oh, maybe I did use it in another prompt, right? For, yeah, I did. It was for Observe. I think that's the one. Let me see. Yeah, it was for Observe, was it? It was, yeah. There's a camera. But no, that's not it. It's not going to be that. Oh, do I have anything in the pocket? Let's see. Nope, nothing. What about in this pocket? Sometimes if I think of something, I can just put it in here and then later on I'll come to it. But no, it doesn't look like I did. Maybe I thought of it, but then didn't put it in there. Okay, so now I got to come up with an idea on how I am going to display this on a page, right? It already glued on to one side, so it looks good. I might have to put another clip. Let me get another clip. stays on all right but for now we can just use those and I have black now next thought it will be how I'm gonna cover the page and what do I want to do with the page do I want to use mixed media or do I want to use or do I want to do a collage what do I want to do hmm that's a good question. Let's see. I'm thinking maybe some mixed media, some gesso. I always end up using gesso or cover with paper. What extra papers do I have around? Let's see. These are all of my vintage papers that I have. I could use, I could use a book page, a uh, yellow paper, some old book pages here to cover, and the green one that I used here, so I'm not going to use green, because it's already green. Alright, let's see, what else can I use? I'm going to come up with something. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get my gesso. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this and go ahead and paint the page. First thing, Ooh, it's getting kind of thick. Oh, that's okay. And I'm probably gonna have to do a few. Um, maybe two times to cover it like the last time. Actually, a cup of coffee would be good now. It is eight o'clock already tonight, maybe a little bit after. It's usually when I'm feeling a little bit better. During the day, it's kind of hard for me lately. So, plus sometimes I'm very busy during the day I'm doing my chores with the house, taking care of my puppies and cleaning and cooking if I need, if I can. I do the best that I can, but most of the time if I end up doing everything I need to do in the house or I overdo it, I end up in bed again. And then I can't do nothing for fun because I already used up all of my energy on what I had to do in the house. And sometimes I have 
my grandkids because I help my daughter. You know, she's a single mama, so she needs help. And she works very hard. She has her own business. That woman is amazing. She has her own business. She takes care of her family. She coaches the volleyball team. This girl is, I'm telling you, so proud of her. And sometimes she feels like she's not strong enough or can't hold on. That is too much. But she has God on her side. And she does so good, guys. I mean, she's such a good mom. Such a good mom. Taking care of her babies all the time. And she loves being here with me. She loves to come to eat here, too, so she doesn't have to cook, which I don't blame her. <laughs> uh, I don't like cooking, but when somebody cooks for me, I'm so happy. So I get it. And I'm probably painting my... Uh, I just can't be careful anymore. It's okay. It's gonna get dirty anyway. I'm crafting. Okay, I think it's drying because I have my fan on because it's hot in here right now. Well, it's not hot out because it's it's getting better now the weather but um I'm always hot okay so now after it dries I think I want to put I don't know if I want to distress it or what but you know what I noticed guys I just noticed that the prompt for today is the word light and I have a lamp here in this picture and I also have firework here as part of light too besides the candles and I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do on this page but I first want to decorate it first if I wanted to do these hmm, I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm thinking I wait for this to dry, so I'm gonna pause you guys while this dries. That way I can think of something. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna add a little bit of this warm buff, it's called, I'm just on the edges. I don't wanna put a lot, but Put it here and here, and then I'll spread it around. dry okay let me dry that okay I think that's good now I have Oh, these cute papers here that I can decorate with. And I'm thinking I could use 
something like this. That's pretty. Let's see if I have another one of those. There's two of these. No, that's the same color. I don't like that. Let's see what else do I have? That's pretty. That one is pretty. This one is pretty. I think I want that one. I'm not just with that. So that would be it. I think I would do this. Tuck again. And glue these down. Ooh, that was close. I think I'm using too much glue. I should use a little bit. Not so much. And then do this one. This one here. Let me see. Am I in the? Yes, I am. Okay. I don't know. Does it look okay? I think it does. Right? Now I'm thinking of this as being the light, so I'm not sure if I want to use this one or this one which I think it's adorable and it's the reason why I use it so much that's what it looks like so or the lantern do I want to use the lantern this is the broken one that I broke too by mistake I just took it off of this thing but that's okay I can still use it but you know what i'm gonna do it on a separate piece of paper first so let's try that let me go get some more paper from my scrapbook from my um scrap box because i got plenty of paper in here so let's use one that i don't want to mess up that i would like to use later Oh, here's some watercolor paper. Mm -hmm, I'll save that one. This white one is better. There's a piece of cardstock, but it's not too thick, so that would be perfect. Let's use that. And then I was thinking, thinking that, let me see. Oh no, it got stuck. 
Oh, that's why it has the plastic thingy. I forgot. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't used this in forever. Okay. This is so that it gets get stuck on this. Okay. So now I'm going to try these two. I want to see what they look like so we're gonna use the archival one and then I'm gonna see my fan is on so I wanted to dry fast looks good that's really pretty now do I want to fill that in gold because I'm thinking that's what I want to do. I have some gold glitter. So I'm thinking this is what I want to do. So I'm going to grab a piece of cardstock from here somewhere. Do I have an extra one somewhere? Oh no. Oh, I know what I can use. Let's use a scrap envelope, junk envelope. So I'm gonna use this one. Actually, you know what? Let me try this one again. I wanted to try. I wanted to try this one to see. Oh, this is not what I want. <laughs> it's not what I want. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it this way. It's probably gonna be hard for me to grab it. Let's try that. Actually, really cute too. Hmm. Oh snap! I think that one is cute. Okay, I think I want to use that one. I changed my mind. <laughs> I like this one. Oh no! But I'm gonna use the archive one. That's okay. We'll do that. And then I'm gonna put this here like that and immediately after add the gold and then I'm gonna fussy cut it Ooh, let me cover this oh no I gotta stop my fan Turn it off just for a minute because it's spreading all this all over the place. Oh no! All right. Oh, I need a little brush. Oi, oi, oi. Let's see. Just to get the little excess off. Now I'm going to heat and boss. And it's done. Now I can put this away. the excess out in the trash and all over my rug of course okay I have this here that I can just go over <laughs> I'm making a mess it's so fun okay that's done now I can cut this one so I'm gonna go ahead and do a what you call a uh, kiss uh, fussy cut which is a very thin line around the image I 
at least I'm trying because my hand is not that great today but I really wanted to craft today I played with my granddaughter today for a little while um, she's got so much energy it's insane I love her so much her smile, her laugh oh, she melts me Okay, there it is. And that's what I want to glue here. That's what I'm gonna, but I feel like I need something else here. So let's let's think about that for a minute. What do I want? What do I want here? Because there are some words here. But I can probably add something else. I don't know what it is, but I need to. I know I want to glue this here, and I don't need these pieces, but I do want something. This color is marshmallow. I don't think I want that. I don't know it yet. Hmm. Oh, I know. I have other colors here. There is um, this kind of orange color. That I can do as a splash on here so would that be a good idea I could use this one and some of the maybe this color together no I think just this one would probably do it let's try that so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down right do I want to do it right now I do obviously this right here now I want to do some splatters but I feel like I need something else around here what do I need what do I need I need something else let's look maybe in here I don't want butterflies. Um, what if I add some of these circles? No, that's not going to be pretty. Maybe this one? No. No, no, no. That's not what I'm thinking. What am I thinking? There's so many fussy cuts in here that I don't that I haven't used in every project I have leftover stuff. So. I don't know these are stuff I want to use and then of course I have my stickers but would that be relevant mm -hmm. uh, Polaroid Polaroids don't want to use Polaroid mm -hmm. oh these are the windows I'm not using windows. The Polaroids are kind of only specific colors. I don't know if I want to use that. I used it here already. So I want to use that again. Not in this page. Oh, these girls are in like fall colors. So what if I want to use one of these? Like that. That's pretty. Or the pink. What do you guys think it matches with that? But this one does too. Like I like that one. I might just pick that one first. Green. Right? Oof. Now I'm in trouble. I think I'll keep that one. Do we have another kind of pink? What else do we have? That one is cute. I like that jacket. Ooh, that's a nice jacket. I like the pink jacket. I like the gray jacket. Let's see what this one looks like. Nope, the pink one. This one? No, that one doesn't look good. The green one? Ooh, that one looks pretty. I like the green one. The green jacket. And it's between these two now. 
well, not the blue. This is like a brown jacket. That one would match too. It's a lighter color. And this one is really dark. Um, this is even lighter. This one has jeans. Hmm. No, not that one. Not this one. So, where's the baggie for this? Uh-oh. I lost the baggie. Oh, right here. Alright, so it's between these three. I know I don't want that one. So it's between these two. And I think the green one. No, which one stands out? Let me look through the phone or the camera. Wow, that one was really dark. I think the green one looks good. They're both dark. The green one. Okay, I'll keep the green one. But I need some words, something to, that's what I'm missing, like a quote. And then we can do a splatter with this. And then I'm going to put this away. I'm on my own for now. Oh, okay, let me look for the plastic. I think it's in here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, look what I found. I found this. Would I be able to use some of this to decorate with a little bit? Hmm, if I were to do half, half behind it, something like that. Like that, and then the word, I think maybe half, if I do half, like that, no. Mm, this, no. I don't know. Um, no, I don't think it's working out. Let's put that to the side. I'm missing, I'm missing something here. Hold on. Okay, so I went to look for my words, quotes, things like that. And I found these cute flowers. Oh, and these. I think these are cute. I can add these because it looks like fall. So I can add a couple of these. Like, where do I want it? And then I want something that has to do with light. The gold that glimmer. This one. I have to put it on white and cut it out, right? That would be better. The gold that glimmered. Do I put it here? Yeah. Or over here? Or do I put her here? And this here? Mm. Wow. 
here, here. What a mission. Yeah, I think that's getting off for now. Let's put that to the side. And I'm thinking that I have to figure out where I want to put the girl at. If I want to put her here. With the word here, maybe. Or here. Or... No, because it looks so empty on this side. So I'm thinking she's going to have to go right here. And then this can go somewhere around here, right? Oh, the glitter everywhere. Okay. Um, Where do I want it? Here. Mm. Now it's getting hot in here because I turned off the fan. Um... Hmm. I think I am going to put her there. Do I want her down here? Yep. There, up here, I don't know why, but I feel like it should be around here somewhere, yep, but first I am going to cover this, and where did I put the plastic, oh here it is, and then I'm going to do this. Where's my water? Oh no, I used it all up again. Oh yeah. I think that's a lot. <laughs> I overdid it again. Uh, okay, stick that in the water. Put this aside. I'll just put it on that craft envelope. Yes. Hi, honey. So sweet. He just wanted to check on me and see if I'm okay. I love him. Okay, so my fan is back on. And I don't know why this is coming off over here, so... I have to put a little bit of glue. So it looks like the last video I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. And so here it is. It's finished. And there are the splatters. There's glitter. This is the gold I've glittered. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that great? So I think this is it for now and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now.